look, more TVs. I decided once I'd done the update on the workshop, I thought I'd come out here and show you where my TVs are now, now being stored. Hopefully a bit more permanent this time. So, yeah, all these sets were stored in the lockup. Um, lockup was quite small and things were literally like crammed in there. You know, it was um, basically f uh, floor to ceiling and yeah, things were really, really crammed in. And like I said, they all had to be out by the end of last year and um, yeah, of course, left it, left, it, left it a few weeks before Christmas and me and a mate went hammer and tongs and managed to do it in the afternoon. Um, uh, the reason why some of them have got covers on is because we had animals getting in here, namely cats, and they were peeing on things. Um, I think I've made now the garage cat proof and um, yeah. So I could probably should take a few, a few of those um, blankets off and also stop dust and crap getting on them as well. But um, yeah, here we go. So I might give you a bit of a, a, a basic sort of, well, I might give you a bit of a rundown on some of these TVs, where they came from. And yeah, just, yeah, might as well just um, keep, 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 keep going on and the, keep following the uh, theme for tonight. Um, right, so here is a... The classic uh, Philips K9. Um, these sets were based on, I think, a Danish design, and uh, yeah, built here in New Zealand, uh, built here in Lower Hut in New Zealand, and um, great TVs. Still are great. Still are great TVs as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Delta Gun, picture tube, and um, yeah, they just you know they had their faults, but you know they're probably one of the most best performing TVs. Um, uh, yeah, we um we never had we never had um hybrid or valve color TVs here because we got the color in seventy four, so we kind of kind of missed the boat in that respect. Um, this this one here, this one here actually I got this oh, I would have got this in probably the early two thousands. I remember at work, a lady brought it in and says, "Oh, do you want it?" I'm like, "Oh, I don't really." I said to her, "I don't really need it." She says, "Well," she says. It was used for probably I don't know. It was said it was used for probably five or ten years of its life, and then it and then it. it she said it broke down. Uh, we took it to a serviceman who told us the tube was had it, and um, we chucked it in the back room or uh, chucked it in and um, chucked it in the uh, back room of her parents' house, and there it sat. So I thought, oh well, I'll take it home. So I took it home and turned it on, and yeah, sure enough, the picture was pretty washed up. And I thought to myself. Nah, this, 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 this isn't a tube. It's this. This is something else. It's like really, really lacking video. Ended up turned to be a faulty IF amplifier module, a replacement module, and and next minute, wow, boy, did some really nice strong snow. I was agreed with with a really, really nice uh, strong snow, and I hooked up hooked up a signal to it, and yeah, was was, was greeted with a really, really nice picture. And I tell you what, um, I haven't used it in a long time, but boy, this this thing goes really well. It's got a really, really good tube in it, and uh, I've done the basics to it to make it reliable. And it, it, yeah, it actually works well. I haven't plugged it in for quite some time. Um, oh, we, we could get daring. We've got a power cord over here. <laughs> we should plug it in and see what it does. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, moving on. Uh, that's a 70s Sanyo. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these are facing the wall um, just due to, um, you know, it's, yeah, you know, one facing forward, one facing the other way, so you know to stop the old wobble factor. So in an earthquake, hopefully things won't topple over. Um, that's an early, early solid state set actually, and that, this one, one I've actually restored, and that one also goes really well. Um, English Decker um, 405 625 line. This was given to me by an, an old radio collector who I'm not sure where he got it from, but I'm um, sure yeah, any of you Eng any of you Eng English. Any of you English um, watchers might know this. It's got a bit of a weird cover that pulls away. And it, what way does it go that way? Got all your, all your controls in there. You've got your maybe got you've got linearity, uh, linearity height, frame hold, all your controls there. Sixty-five, four or five line. So. Um, if, Never actually tried this. I've never plugged in a lot. A lot of these TVs, I've never, I've never ever even plugged in. I've just, I've had them given to me, and I've just sat as uh, they, they've just, they've just sat in, in storage or on top of another or in a corner. A lot of them I haven't, I haven't actually tried. Um, but yeah, um, I sort of, 
I sort of, I'm sort of wondering what to do with some of these. I mean, you know, I had a thought of getting rid of a few of them, um, just due to the fact I'm probably never going to get around to doing most of them up properly, and some of them have got some nasty faults, or just I don't know. I, at this at this stage, I don't know. We'll just see, we'll just see, you know, just see what happens, and you know, as um, happens in the future, and see how enthusiastic I feel. Um, so. This one here I got off Trade Me, a local auction site. Uh, would have got it about uh, five or six, five or six years ago. Um, I think for a couple of bucks, um, and stored it at a friend's place. It's a Bell. I think it's a could be a TV two hundred three or two hundred four chassis. I can't remember, quite remember now. But um, and my mate, uh, I said a friend of mine, I stored it for me, and um, he lives, you know, he lives about five hours away in the car. So I, had, I went up and got it. And um, yeah, we powered it up, and it actually came up with snow, and it seemed to, you know, it seemed to produce a picture of sorts. It wasn't great, but the the picture tube in it's okay. And there we have a spider crawling up the wall. Daddy long legs. Heaps of those things hanging around the place. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Have we got the show? Um, you, some of you guys might remember this one here. This is that. This is that Tallyrad set. That I did a whole YouTube video series on back in about five or six years ago. Um, so you guys might remember, might remember, may, might remember that one. Um, so yeah, it, uh, I haven't plugged that thing in for quite some time. Um, that one I actually might bring up on the view react just just quietly. Uh, what have, and then we here we have a. Um, Pi CT102. Why am I getting the feeling of deja vu here? I don't quite know why I'm getting that, but uh, this is a New Zealand colour TV. Um, made, in the, made in the mid 70s. Pi CT102. Um, I'm pretty certain the design was New Zealand. Uh, the, the, the design was a, a, New Zealand, a New Zealand concoction and creation. Um, yeah, these were okay. You had I've I used to fix these back in the nineteen nineties. You know, I've used to work on a lot of these, and you had you had good ones, and you had some real piles of absolute shit. Um, they, they used to burn holes in the boards, unreliable components. They had a whole list of list stock faults, switch my power supplies, blow up at the drop of a hat. Um, yeah. Uh, but um, you know, this, and uh, the tubes, the tubes, the, the, the uh, tubes also went, went flat on them too. They used um, they used a um, a certain model, a certain type of, of the Shiba tube, which didn't last. Um, yeah, so yeah, these were these were well known by TV technicians, and they, they mean you know they I know I know a lot of the, a lot of the rental companies probably made money out of the you know made a lot of money out of these because they always, they always broke down. Um, so yeah, no, I mean e e even um, in my late early teenage years, you know, me, 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 me and my mates used to go to the tip and, you know, we, you know, we used to bloody have fun smashing these things, you used to bloody throw rocks through the tube and you do all sorts of stupid things to them, but um, not many left now, I don't think, there's not many around, and um, this one here I got from a, from a, a friend of mine who who, who works works in an e-waste um, place many, many years ago, and this one here actually has a remarkably good picture and a damn good tube, I don't think the sets have many hours. Because, Jenny, the Jenny, the, uh, Jenny, the um, line boards they 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 get dry joints and they burn and you, you, you can you can you can you can just tell this set has not the set's been used but it hasn't had a lot of use. Uh, so it's actually got a good picture of that one. It's, it's it's definitely definitely one to keep. It does have legs. The legs are in, legs are in a box somewhere. Um, so that's that one there. Uh, that's a eighties Sony TV. Um, I'm not going to turn them around. I just haven't got the energy to flat for that at the moment. I actually came in here before and actually took some photos photos of some of these TVs. I'm going to put them on Facebook. So, um, what, 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 other, what other ones can I show you? Um, here's an interesting little set. It's called a Lotus. Uh, these were made here in New Zealand. They were a small time, um, small time manufacturer. And yeah, quite a neat little, neat little set uh, for my, for my cabinet. Let's get around the other side here. Um, so yeah, you've got all your usual controls, brightness, content, off volume, and channel change, and so forth. Um, and quite an interesting little set actually. Um, 
In fact, give me a couple of seconds. I will actually. I don't want to pause the video. What I'll do? I think there's my screwdriver. Oh, yeah, it's still in here. I'll just take the back off this actually and show you inside it. Hang on a second. I'll just pull this. Put you down. It won't be two seconds. So it'll take two seconds to turn around. Real, I can actually probably edit this video so make it a bit shorter. Right, back again. Right, here you go, back again. So I'll just pull that out of there. there we have it quite a neat little compact design actually to be honest it's quite neat um, I'm not sure if I can turn the torch on can I turn the torch on yes I can will it work I oh, know can't turn torch on okay well so I can't make it do other things stupid smartphone but yeah there you go um, a wee peek inside this does work. I have um, powered it on Ugh, years ago. It came up, came up with a with a with, with a blank raster. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Green and Hall, Wellington, Auckland Limited. Um, so yeah, they were the manufacturers of the brand Lotus. And um, yeah, I think I brought this off trade me actually. I think I paid about 30, 40 bucks for it from memory. But uh, yeah, it's on the just an easy an easy set just to sort of access to get into and to show it to you so yeah quite neat cute little thing quite compact very retro it's quite neat right i'll just put the i'll just leave it there i'll sort of that later on i'm going pissing us around putting the back on again um um this one here is a come on focus I might have focus on my watch. Come on. Oh, come on, you stupid thing. What's happening here? Yeah, why is this thing not focusing? There we go. That's better. Right. Uh, Phillips, Phillips F2. Um, this one does go, I have plugged it in, doesn't go that great, but it works, um, using P-series valve, sing, sing, singular circuit board, which will change this down, I've, I think I have, um, I think I have, I think I've seen, yeah, there's been other YouTube videos I've, I've, fe I've featured another set with a, with a, with a, with a, an old, old set with the same chassis, um, under here there's a Murphy, um, this one here, I've got a whole video series on. This one here, I actually I fully restored this. Um, this this be the last TV I actually fully restored. Um, I did I did power it up when I, when I when I when I shifted, and it, it, it said it actually just yeah just it just it just started it just burst into life and off it went. Um, another English English pie under here. Um, another English pie with a piano gloss Camden on it. Um, I started restoring this, but I don't know when I'll get back to it. Uh, Ultimate Echo. Um, about a 20 inch, 22 inch. What's it called? Ultimate. La, actually, it's right to La Gloria, sorry. Um, Formica cabinet. I did power it up when I got it many years ago. Um, again, just a blank raster, not, not much else. It's just, yeah, it is what it is. Um... Phillips K9. This is a twenty. This is a, a, a twenty-two inch version, same as the other one. So a twenty-two inch version. Uh, Phillips K9. Down here, another Phillips. Another um, was incorporate the really cool Pi radio too. I've got heaps of heaps of valve radios as well. Um, so one, one 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 of many that I want to try and restore one day, or at least put on display. Um, it's another Philips F2, another Valve TV. I said black and white. Most of these are black and white. Um, 
Again, this one, I think I tried it and it's got no horizontal oscillator. There's no line drive, just nothing. It's just a doornail. So, um, one there. There are more TVs under here. Another one under there. Another one here as well. As I said, this is all pretty much uh, on the fly. Another one under here. Uh, try and pull all this up. You can try and see it. Another ultimate echo under there. Um, quite cool that one. Quite a nice retro looking TV. Quite neat on legs and everything. Um, the controls are at the, the controls are at the side. There's the controls. Oh, it's actually missing a knob too, actually. Um, yeah, this one here is another one I also restored as well. I think you you may find a video series on this one as well that I restored um, way back and way back when. Um, many screws to get the back off? Looks like it's two actually. No, I'm not even going to bother. I'm not even going to bother taking the back off. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, here's another one here. Um, a Pi CT104. Uh, a later version of the pie that we just saw. Again, it's colour. Um, these were a um, the last of the New Zealand made pies. Um, these weren't too bad. These sets weren't bad. Again, the tubes went. The tubes let them down. And my um, grandmother had one of these. I used to grow. I grew up um, watching cartoons. Well, well, when I went, when I went and stayed, stayed with same with my nan. I used to watch cartoons on this. And I have, a, I have a vivid memory of watching, um, yes, I'm going to mention that name, Michael Jackson. Um, he had a, um, the, the, uh, remember when that, when that song, uh, a thriller came out, there was, there was a music video. I remember watching it on this TV late at night and getting freaked out. And I had nightmares for weeks about, about, the, about all the dead bodies coming out of the grave and things I had. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> but I do remember one of those memories. I do remember getting absolutely freaked out by the, by the, the that video. And um, yeah. This one here, um, again, low hours, really good tube. That's why I'm hanging on to it because it's yeah. I mean, there wouldn't be wouldn't be many of these left. Down there, that's a Thorn Nine Thousand. Um, any of you English guys will will know this set well. The Thorn Nine Thousand chassis. Um, this one does go. It um, does work. Sorry, it does go, but it's got some chroma problems or something. But um, she just might actually grab the screwdriver and um, I'll pop the back off it if I can. These are relatively easy to get off. Um, I said you, I said you, uh, I said you guys in the UK will be familiar with these. Um, the twenty-inch version used an RCA tube. They were rubbish. The twenty-twos used an used like this used a um. And a um, Hitachi tube, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant tube. And um, there you go. All these boards, they all they all pull out. And the whole the whole the whole chassis actually. So see, Billy, these was quite good. Um, weird ass Cyclops power supply line output stage. Um, but yeah, the whole thing. You just pull it forward. The whole thing does actually. I haven't actually. I have not actually looked at the set in friggin' years. Hmm, uh, looks a bit dodgy, but <laughs> but um, yes, you can actually the whole lot actually does. Oh, there we go. We've got the clips at the side there. The whole lot just pulls out, and then you can just unhinge the boards like that. And uh, yeah, so getting at the boards is quite good. So. You're in the customer's house and you you want to you want to um service the board you can um, yeah it's night time here so yeah the lighting's not that great but um yeah when these things worked they actually went well these things again had they had a whole list of problems and stock fa stock faults and so forth Uh, I said I apologise for this video being a bit manky. We've got some focusing issues. It's probably due to the light levels in here, I'd say. So, 
Yes, that's that one there. Um, again, probably not many of these left going either. I'd say there's, you know, not many of these left. Sorry, not many of these left going. I've just said it three times. <laughs> so, yeah. Important, and sure. What's wrong with this? Ensure replacing tuna module is in fitted with the isolated air on the so you don't get a zap. Yeah, a bit of a strange looking looking thing. And these bloody bloody horrible tantalums. There's a blue tantalum down there. These horrible, horrible bloody tantalum caps. They like to short and explode and do all sorts of crazy things. Um yeah, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even I wouldn't even plug that in to be honest. I'd probably probably go up in a cloud of smoke. Um what else is there to show you? Um Oh there's a there's a rough as guts bell here. Um unfortunately this this one here is um it's basically had it the tube is flat and it's been in a really 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 bad environment basically like the inside it's all all the components are corroded and everything. I'll probably just trip that for parts. It's it's the tube's flat, it's got so many faults, it's not funny, so well, you might just get get rid of that one, keep it, um, move it on, strip it for parts and so forth. Uh, I've got some more over here. There's another little Philips TV, again running the F2 chassis. It's a, a Murphy down there in a white cabinet. There's another Philips, another another Pi variant down there. Um, under here is another another um. Phillips, this is a, um, this is a, this one here actually is an S, an S8 chassis, um, yeah, so I've got all, all the controls down below, again I've done a, I've done a, I've done a video, um, on, on, um, restoring one of these, again if you look on my YouTube channel you'll, you'll find it, um, that set's really nice and it cosmetically, but it's got some electronic issues, it's got some fault, faults with it, and, um, yeah, I said these TVs all need attention of some kind. <laughs> um, there's another interesting set. This is a. I'm going to put it up here. Oh, Struth, that's not. This is a. Uh, oh, Struth, that's quite heavy actually. Little, uh, little ultimate, little black and white transistorized TV. Um, I'm guessing, I don't know when it's from, the late 70s, I'm not quite sure actually, but um, I don't know, I, it's, it's ugly, it's ugly but it's, no, it's ugly but it's nice, I don't know, it's sort of a khaki, sort of a motley green sort of cabinet, um, I was going to plug it in but I've noticed I must have called, I must have called up the power cord and plugged it and put it inside the TV itself, so... Yeah, just an unusual little TV. Um, of course, these are all, you know, hope, of course, this is all useless now. Antennas, just there for looks only. So there's no more analog TV in, in New Zealand. Um, yeah, so... I think that's pretty much it um, for me for now. Um, I started by... Uh, <laughs> And um, nailing all my speakers up, the speakers up to the rafters. I've got banana boxes just full of stuff. There's just stuff everywhere. So, yes, I self confessed hoarder. <laughs> I've got stuff everywhere. Well, there's a lot of old, these are all my, all my old radios in here. All my old radios stashed away. They're all in plastic bags just to, for, for protection. Um, yeah, so um, it's madness, it's chaos, but it's you know, it's what I do. So this is a uh, New Zealand made Pi radio, um, probably based on an English. I, I, I actually um, earlier in the month I actually restored an English model, which looked pretty much like this, but it was from the fifties. This uses rimlock valves in it, but uh, yeah, um, again, it's in reasonably nice condition. 
and um, I've had I've had it for for quite some for quite some time actually that one over quite some years. So I might get around to restoring that one day. Yeah. So um, yeah, and uh, there you have it. So um, there you go, guys. You've pretty much seen my whole TV collection and. Yep, I said a lot of a lot of these sets. I turn them around, but I just yeah, I, I just don't have the energy to, to do that right now. Um, oh, yeah, there's another another um little oddball one. I'll just, I'll just move this out of the way. Um, that's another that's another bell. Uh, one came from my um, where did this come from? Oh, my uh, my um e-waste contact a few years ago. It works, but um, it's someone's again someone's mess with the uh, with the, with the actual. Uh, it's got it's got a different flyback in it, and it's being mucked around with, and it's it's it does, it's it's yeah, hasn't got the right flyback, and it's got problems. It's got it's got EHT issues and all sorts of problems, and um, I really need to again need to need to dig out the circuit, find the right find the correct line up with the transformer, and put it back in and get it get it working properly. So um, yeah, so. Oh well, that's here we are. I've covered. I've been wanting to do a video for a while. Actually, just do like a like a catch up, and you know, I've pretty much cut, killed two birds with one stone. So, um, hope you enjoyed the look at my uh, TV collection, and um, yeah, watch the space for more. Isn't it neat? Bye for now.